Um, so for Glossier, I think the, the gap is very hard to explain. I remember the idea for Glossier first came about and everyone said, well, where's the hole in the market? And that's a very like, you know, venture capital kind of like question. And I'm not a venture capital kind of person. I'm an art person. And I always said, I don't know. I just really think there should be a beauty brand whose sweatshirt you want to wear as like part of your outfit because it stands for a kind of like, it stands for something bigger than just products you put on your face in the morning. It's more of a lifestyle. And, um, and I think, uh, what, what that ended up um, kind of translating to is there hadn't really ever been a beauty brand that has been built in conjunction with its community before. Most beauty brands are very like dictatorial. You know, the ones I grew up with, you know, I grew up having, you know, brands tell me that I needed an expert to tell me about my face. I couldn't, you know, figure it out on my own. But as you guys all know, if you want to know how to do a, a smoky black cat eye, you can go on YouTube and figure that out pretty fast. So you don't really need to um, talk to an expert. And I think that idea of creating a brand, uh, digital first for beauty, that really um, invites, you know, women in and to participate in the creation of the company and also to become her own expert um, is something that we really, is something very empowering, something that, you know, we were really excited to, to bring into the world.